Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Hello, fourth graders. I have been so impressed with the progress you are making on the recorder. I love hearing you play your exercises and songs, so keep up the great work. Today we are going to learn two new notes, high C and high D, and you are going to demonstrate that you can play these notes in a new song today. So let's look at our notes on the treble clef staff. C is a space note in the third space. Now, C on the recorder is as followed. You're gonna take your left thumb and you're gonna place it on the thumb hole in the back of your recorder. Now, the easiest way to do this is to first put your fingers in the position to play note A. So your thumb is covered and your first two holes are covered. Now, high C, you are going to remove your first finger. So now the top hole is open and the second hole is closed and you are pressing down very, very hard. Remember to check your thumb and make sure that thumb hole is covered. This is the fingering for high C. Listen to what high C sounds like. Get your fingers in position and let's play it together. Here we go, one, two, ready, play. If yours does not sound like mine or it is squeaking, make sure that you check your fingers to make sure that one, you are using that meaty part behind your fingernails, okay? Not the tips of your fingers. Remember, you wanna see those little indents in that meaty part of your fingers. You wanna make sure that that is the part that is covering the hole and that you are pressing down nice and tight. Then the next thing you wanna check is your mouth. Make sure that your mouth is completely covering the top of the mouthpiece and that air is not escaping out of the sides. Let's play C again. Go ahead and get your thumb on and your second finger. Remember that first finger is up. And here we go. Ready, play. Very nicely done. Now, just one more note about high C. You do not cover that second hole with your pointer finger, okay? You would not do this. That second hole should always be covered by your third finger, okay? Now, let's look at high D. High D is on the fourth line of our treble clef staff. One, two, three, four. So, here was the fingering for high C. We had our thumb covering that back hole and our third finger covering the second hole at the top. Remember, that first hole is open. Now for high D, you are simply going to take your thumb off of that back hole and you're still gonna wanna keep it on the recorder just underneath the hole, but it should not cover the hole at all. That hole should be completely open, okay? And you want to make sure that you're using your right hand and supporting your recorder so that you have complete control while you are playing. So. Let's look at it one more time. That thumb has now come off the back hole and your third finger is covering the second hole at the top. Remember that first hole is still open and your pointer finger should be up. Here is a high D. Check your fingers and let's play it together. One, two, Ready, and.
Great job if you are squeaking or it does not sound like mine. Double check your fingers and we will play it one more time. Ready, play. Great job. So for C, we keep the same third finger over that second hole and we cover up our thumb. Here is C one more time. Now we will just simply take our thumb and move it down underneath the hole. Keep that third finger over that second hole and here is high D. I'd like you to pause the video at this point and practice your high C and high D notes. 